Hi there, you're going to join Jocelyn and me on a quick trip to the Big Goodwill. That's really pretty. It's ginormous. Made in Japan. Oh, that one's really mm -hmm. It's pretty though. Oh, that's one of those trophies. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best quality. Is that, that's heavy. Oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> There, you could pretend you win a golf tournament. That's right. That's what I'm saying. You're like, yeah, I golf. What are those? Those are <laughs> peaches. <laughs> Some type of fruit. Somebody loved that. They yes, like, it's very. Yes, it's very much. And this thing is really like... here forever. This is like the home decor section now. Oh, isn't that uh that scared me. Yeah, that's like a weather thing or something. These are adorable. Oh, look at the little puppy. Wait, is that, is a, that bear? It's a bear? That's a bear. Okay. That, <laughs> that's a puppy, puppy. bear. <laughs> that's so sweet. What's under the third one? The third one is a kitty a cat. Oh, those are adorable. Aww. He's like, are you going there or not? Are we going to pet the bird? <laughs> That's Jocelyn. Look, Andrew, I have another bird. We need another bird. <laughs> Actually, it's the other way around. Okay. <laughs> That's an oldie. Oh, that it's cracked. Is that cracked? There's something it, going. it might be. It might be cracked. I think it's cracked. Yeah, that's correct. That's cool though. I like the letters. Or the letters. <laughs> the numbers. The numbers. Just like they uh, glued. Glued those on there. Look at all this. These are three ninety nine, three ninety nine, two ninety nine, dollar ninety nine. And these are two ninety. There's all the amber stuff. That's pretty. <coughs> it has a crack right here. Crack right there. These were usually sold in sets of four, and they were only two here. And when I went up to the checkout, the lady said, "Oh, someone bought two of these." I'm like, oh no. They do sell for pretty good money. I usually don't pick up plates, but I thought they were unusual, and I love bread, so why not? These are made in the USA. Wah! So I think I will take those. I like the looks of them. Make sure they're not chipped, though. With summertime weather upon us, I thought these coasters would come in handy. They have the same design of a little rose on them. I thought they were very sweet. I'll rejoice in the Lord.
Where are you guys going to lunch? It's either Greece or Japan. Japan. That's cool though. Yeah. That's a lot of pieces. I can't tell if it's blue or black though. I think it's like dark blue. Yeah, we'll have pretty. to see. Oh, and then there was this. A little trinket. Hmm. And it doesn't have like... Is it Mexico? No. Well, I think it is, but it doesn't yeah. have it like... It looks yelling. like... It. I only had a short amount of time to shop with Jocelyn today. And the last thing I picked up was this box that is decorated with seashell. And later I will show you some pictures of the items that I picked up at Goodwill. Hi there, we have some more mail to open. I got two cards and a box. So let's see. Uh, the first one is from Lori and she lives in Lancaster, California. When I first moved to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, I pronounced it, I pronounced it Lancaster. And then when you live here in Pennsylvania, you quickly learn that it's Lancaster. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> that is adorable. Looks like Penelope. <laughs> Start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly you're doing the impossible. St. Francis of Assisi. Very nice. I think it's Loxie. I think, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I mispronounced your name. I thought it was Lori on the envelope, but it looks like it's Loxie. Loxie from Lancaster, California. Very nice, thank you very much. Very beautiful uh, words of encouragement and um, thank you for ordering from my cousin Jordan and you got a t-shirt. Thank you so much. Thank you very much and that's, that card is adorable. Thank you very much, Loxie. And that's a very cute name, I like that name. This next one is from Vermont. Oh, it's a handmade, handmade, oh, a handmade card. Oh, you, you can, you can have your cake and eat it. Looks like a birthday card. Yes, it's soon my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Nicole in Northern Vermont. Thank you very much, Nicole in Northern Vermont. That's very pretty. Thank you for the nice, kind words. Very nice, thank you. Oh, that's neat, oh, look, it goes it goes all the way around, but this is 3D. Sorry, the camera just jiggled. I have you propped up on some mandarin oranges. <laughs> but you are sitting in an Ellie Smith blue fruit bowl with the mandarin oranges. So you're very fancy right now. All right, now let's get to the box. The box is from Kansas, Wichita, Kansas. My dad was born in Kansas, and we used to go and spend some summers there. He had an aunt that lived in Kansas, and we used to go there for the 4th of July. And um, I remember very distinctly um, visiting, um, she was my great aunt, but my aunt, and um, the fun times, it was a very small town that they lived in, and my sister and I were allowed to walk down to the main street by ourselves. And it was a small town life, it was very nice, for some good memories of Kansas. This is from Ellen, and it looks like there is something for Jocelyn. And I just saw her today, so I will save this for Jocelyn next time I see her. We usually meet up every week. Um, things are getting closer, so every <laughs> every week I tell her, I assure her, it's okay. I know the way to women's and babies. It'll be fine. We have a letter for me and a letter for Jenny, so I will make sure to give this to Jenny. Very nice of you. Probably should let Jenny open her envelope before you read further. All right, let's do it. Jenny. Jenny. Mm -hmm. Someone sent you a card. What card. You have to come open it. It says before I can read my letter further. And it feels like there's something in there. Okay, do you want me to open the cut op it open? Yeah, sorry, yeah. Something came out. <laughs> oh, it was a bookmark. It says, it says birthday girl. Inside. Well, you were a birthday girl. Oh, that oh, fell out. That's okay. We got it. What is it? I'm sorry. Uh, oh, it's a little, uh, what is oh, it's a little charm. To Jenny. Do I know how close I've come to your actual birthday for him? It, it, um, it was or is a fun time <laughs> from 
Uh, Lori, I think. Oh, okay. from Eileen. Eileen. Oh, it says, here is a bookmark for your favorite read. She loves to read. Totally. A paw charm for your love of pets. A shamrock for good luck. She's Irish, so are we. So she is, too. Okay. And a ring, because all girls need a little bling. That is adorable. Look. That's Aww, really cool. Adorable. And look how pretty the bookmark oh, is. The, oh, it's a wooden bookmark. The gem has an emerald, which is you. Oh, I am emerald. Jenny, it was born in April. She was supposed to be born in June. <laughs> she decided to come early so, in April. <laughs> so I like to joke that, um, I'm sure people do this, uh, but I just like think about the constellations. Mm -hmm. um, so I like to joke that I'm half Aries, half Gemini, because right. I was supposed to be born in, G in um, May June. June. Yeah. And <laughs> I was born in April. She was born in April. That's very sweet of you, Eileen. Uh, thank, thank you. Thank this, you, Eileen. Do you see that this is wooden? Yeah, that's awesome. That's thank you. That's perfect for her. Okay, back to my letter. I will definitely pass this on to Jocelyn. And it looks like you made it. I think you did say you made something for her new baby. So I will definitely pass this on to her. Like I said, hopefully we will see each other next week. But each week, the closer it gets to June, we're like, I hope I see you next week. So I will definitely pass this on to her. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all of the mail and the early birthday cards and just just the kind words of encouragement that gives me an extra bit of gusto when I'm like, oh, what can I do for a video? So I really appreciate you reaching out and sending me cards and letters. And when you send things to Jenny, that just, it's overwhelmingly nice. So I appreciate it so much. Thank you. We are now back at my favorite Goodwill and I picked up this studio art tile that's from Jerusalem and this whole bag of I believe mother of pearl silverware and I will show all of the silverware that got packed in this tiny little bag at the end of the video. There's different styles of the spoons and forks and knives so I think they're from different sets but I was thinking wow I can have all the caviar I want because I have the right spoons to serve it with. <laughs> these were there were two of these Japanese do dolls and it reminded me of the one doll that I gotten at a recent auction that I sold. But these weren't marked. The ones that the one that I had was marked with uh, who she was depicting out of a play. And these were not. They were still very pretty. Um, but I did leave those on the shelf. And then around here, through the wire, I noticed this vintage-looking angel, which I'm not showing you, but you, um, it is, <laughs> I did a terrible job, but the bottom was from a, a, a dollar store or something like that, even though it looked vintage. Here is another of those styrofoam wicker containers that a lot of you told me were tortilla warmers. I still have the one previously, so I did not pick that one up because I haven't sold the other one and I don't know if people really want to. They don't seem to really want the one I have for sale. So I left that for somebody else. The wood, I was trying to be careful here in the wood and brown section to open up this wooden box. And then it looked like someone had it Velcroed or secured to the wall somehow. It was just a plain box. I do like picking up the boxes that have the little holes to keep your keys. This looks handmade to me, but I decided to leave that on the shelf and walk away before I broke that round ceramic thing. <laughs> Here's a look at the brown section. And then that right there is a Kleenex box or a tissue box. It had a little seashell counter cross stitch on one side. Thought that was nice that I left that there as well. This had a contemporary sticker on the bottom, even though it had the look of being vintage with that drip glaze style. And these were all stacked in together, so I wanted to see who made them. They have a little rooster in the center of them. And then I thought this was really pretty. It had a light blue inside of that shell. And this was a nice bowl. It was only, I think it says $1.99. And you think, $1.99, pick that up. And it was signed. But the size and the weight was too heavy. And I left that for someone else who doesn't have to deal with <laughs> packing and size and weight. So I left that there. This little critter, it looked, it's a sleeping bear. And then when I turned it over, it was a souvenir. So it was probably made from the sand at that lake, I would guess. And then I spied this, and I think it's because I have so many strawberries in my garden right now. I thought this was really nicely done. It was painted in 1981. It's signed. And then there's the artist's card on the back. 
I thought that was very pretty. I was able to get some of that surface wear off of it, so I decided to take that. And I thought this was super cute. A water dispenser or a juice dispenser, and I looked underneath of the bottom, and the bottom just said certified lead free. It wasn't marked with an artist's name or a, a manufacturer's name. It just said it didn't have any lead in it, which is good if you're going to drink out of something like that. And then this was a flashed glass oil lamp. And then I picked this up because I thought it said Dutch Brothers Coffee, and it just said Dutch Coffee. And Dutch Brothers is a brand of coffee that I see mostly on the West Coast. This was a cute little rabbit on a carrot, but unfortunately it had a chip on its ear. So I did leave that there. It was sweet. I guess you could turn it around to the other side, but still the chip on the ear. Then I thought this was really neat and it was really neat and it wasn't even lit up. And I thought someone would like this for Halloween decorations. There was a couple other Halloween decorations, so maybe someone donated their items. But I thought that was really pretty. I'll show you later what it looks like with a little candle inside it. And then on the bottom shelf, I noticed this right away, and I knew it was going to be Stangle when I flipped it over, and sure enough, it was. This was uh, the Magnolia design. It has no chips, and usually Stangle has chips on it. And because this is a larger piece, but because it has no chips, I decided to go for it. And it's not as heavy as that pottery bowl. Susie is behind me sniffing if you hear somebody sniffing. Oh, Sue, come here. Say hi. <laughs> I found a match to that little frame to put them together. And then this was re really, really pretty. I love this color blue. And I like the contrast of the darker blue handle. But again, the weight, I left that for somebody else. The stack of plates I wanted to know if there were more of the bird plates the bird plates were collectible plates and I would guess without looking that those bottom ones were all the same with some kind of dancing girl here are the Halloween decorations that I was talking about the witch and the cat and they kind of go together but then they kind of don't and then there was that Halloween it reminded me of something from Hobby Lobby or from Michael's so I left it there. I usually don't find anything in the black and silver aisle, but you never know. So I always go down every aisle. I'm doing a voiceover for this section of the video because they were clearing out the clear glass section and it was pretty loud. This was a stackable ornament box thing. It did have a few older ornaments inside it, but because I have that big bag of vintage ornaments, I decided against getting this one, even though I did like the convenience of how it stacked on itself. This reminded me of Yvonne with the happy smiley face. I was looking to see if it was a McCoy mug. I believe this one was probably made in China. So I left that there. We are in what is considered the white section and I saw this Mary Inglebright Christmas mug and plate. We have this same exact set. So I thought somebody else might enjoy getting this. This is from 1995 or 1996. So I don't know if you can find it anymore, but regardless, it's cute. And I think someone will enjoy it as much as we enjoy ours. They are big, aren't they, Jenny? Look at them. Yeah. Thank goodness that platform's there. Don't fall. Stay there. We were away for my birthday weekend, and we saw when we got home that the baby birdies were outside of the nest. They would have fallen right to their death. No, they would not. Yes, they would have if we hadn't put that platform up there. Oh, yeah. And it turns out the very next day they were gone. So I was glad we were home in time to capture their last little moment. So then I decided to go outside and kind of sneak up a little bit. The mom or dad, were, were they were gone getting worms. I didn't get too close, but I just wanted to see them up close a little bit. They were so cute. They grew, they grew so fast in a matter of days. Coming up next is everything that I picked up on my two trips to Goodwill. I would like to just let everybody know I am working with eBay. I don't know if they're working with me, <laughs> but I have contacted eBay many, many times about my delivery dates on all my listings is incorrect. Right now, I think it says you won't get the item until it won't ship until June 20th or something crazy like that. I ship within three business days of receiving payment. So that is wrong. They tell me they're working on it. They're working on it. I don't know about that. Look at all the spoons. Look, 61 pieces. Isn't that crazy? 
So I wanted to make sure I put that out there into the universe. Your shipping, your item will get to you much, much sooner than it says on my eBay listings. Hopefully one day it will be fixed. Isn't the lampshade so cool? How with the light flickering underneath it? I think that's so neat. Thank you so much for your support of my channel by subscribing and hitting the thumbs up on this video. It really helps my channel grow. And I love reading all the comments. Jimmy and I love reading the different uh, strawberry recipes and the different ways that everybody eats strawberries. And I think overall the best way to eat strawberries is just fresh out of the garden, right? Thank you for watching. And I'll see ya.